Yeah, she, um, she looks healthy. That's a really good sign. Scientist Corey Lawson is checking for white nose syndrome. She's concerned because the syndrome is deadly. The fungal disease has devastated eastern bat populations. It affects their skins, wings and nose while they hibernate. We've seen die-off rates in the east, eastern part of their range in, in North America of well over 90 percent. Those swabs will determine if the disease is present here because the white nose syndrome is already present in Washington state. The, the disease is right across the border. So it's not a matter of whether it will get here. It is a matter of when, and, and it might already be here. Now we're gonna hear the bat. That is definitely a Yuma myotis. This particular species is only found in the West. So we don't know yet how badly they're going to be hit by white nose syndrome but we do suspect they're going to be devastated. So he can like just fly back. Go ahead, In buddy. BC, bats are very mysterious. There's a lot we don't know about them. Despite tagging, it's still not clear where they hibernate, but we know it's not in big caves like in Quebec or Ontario. So if they're just getting into the ground to hibernate, then we won't see the impacts of white nose syndrome because they'll just die underground. And, and so that makes it trickier to try to figure out what's happening to the bats here. If, if the disease is impacting them, we might not be able to even quantify that. Corey Lawson and her team might have a solution, a recipe of probiotics, bacterias that come naturally from bats. We just call it a cocktail. We spray it up into their roosts. And then the bats, as they come back after winter, they sit roost on these surfaces, they groom themselves, and over the course of the summer, they are incorporating these bacteria into their natural wing microflora. She hopes this will keep the fungus at bay. I call it a Robin Hood approach because we're literally taking from the bats that have the good bacteria and making sure that all the bats get the good bacteria as well. Since 2022, the Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife has been testing the Canadian cocktail. We're in Washington State, where the white nose syndrome has been detected. So we're here with scientists and volunteers. They are capturing bats tonight to figure out if they have the white nose syndrome and if the probiotic cocktail works. Oh, no. They're on to us, so we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully we put the net in a spot where they normally like to fly out to go forage. Catching bats at night is a tricky task. But over here looks more suspicious of white nose damage right there. Through the swabs we collect from bats' wings, they are the lab that processing those is finding that there are higher levels of probiotic and lower levels of the fungus on bats that are being treated. It's showing that the probiotic is staying and hopefully suppressing the growth of that fungus. Preliminary results are promising, according to Corey Lawson. I would love to say that by the end of my career, bats are safe. There she goes. In the fall, these bats will head to hibernation, hiding in the forests for several months. The hope is that in the spring, they will return once again. Camille Vernet, CBC News in Darrington, Washington.